Hey guys, it's SF, and today it's going to be Shambara, which is the third Bakusetsu quest, and I didn't do a video of her yet. So, my team is Far Noel, Agnamut, Domo Agnamut, uh, Himiko, and a. What was the last one? I think it was another Himiko. <laughs> uh, two Himiko. No, it was a Sanada. My bad. It was a Sanada. And. Domo Agnamut, Transcendent Agnamut. Uh, the main gimmick. There are two main gimmicks. One is the damage wall, and then one is no gravity barriers. Uh, I would rather have more damage wall, no damage wall monsters than no gravity barrier monsters. But some people just bring two of each, or bring a Beethoven, which has both. So the main gimmick here, the main thing you have to do in this dungeon is clear off the birds. I forgot their name in English. It's like Hertz or something like that, and it will it will drop up swords, and these swords. If you grab them, they'll deal 10 times more damage, I think. I think it was 10 times more damage. To clear off mobs. The top mobs hardly take any damage from normal from normal attacks if you don't have a sword. So if you want to grab the sword and I did a really bad shot there. Grab the sword and then deal damage to the uh, to the minions that aren't that uh, to the enemies that are protected in terms of uh, damage most of the time one bounce will be more enough but sometimes it will take two or three why well, I like Agumu X because she is a pierce monster so as you see there are mobs with the shields around it if Agumu gets a swipe with a sword on her it will one shot the bar barrier and one shot the mob at the same time whereas bounce monsters with like whereas bounce monsters will take uh, you have to take care of the barrier first Take care of the barrier first and then hopefully hopefully it will dis dissipate and then you have a chance to hit the boss like that but sometimes you if you're moving around really really sporadically uh, you won't get that chance like right now with Sada. oh i actually got it but in terms of uh mostly like see like three four shots for a final well to actually take care of basilisk but um most of the Volta Blast and one-shot kills comes from the Basilisk on the bottom. Uh, there's a Volta Blast from the Spectre up top with the 9 counter. With the 9 counter and then... But for Basilisk's uh, one-shot, it is a poison. It is poison, uh, so any monster that gets hit by the poison will deal 50,000 uh, 50, damage to you. So if one if two of you guys get hit that's almost a one kill one shot kill so in order to like mitigate the poison damage some people bring detox monsters that are fire of course because there's elemental difference elemental effectiveness here and dr ginger Dr. Ginger. It's kind of annoying because of the sleep meteor. But as long as you have damage, okay. But you kind of need a shield. I mean, you need a sword. And sadly, Himiko was the only one to have a sword. And the one shot was coming close. So another, uh, so basically the main point of this dungeon is try to cycle through uh, swords. Uh, always have a sword up when you're going to a stage. Have a, one or two monsters with a sword attack buff, and then make sure the birds get revived in the time. In terms of the mini boss, uh, in terms of the mobs that actually revive the birds, is the specters with the barriers around them. So it's all about keeping them alive for as long as, as long as you can so the birds keep on reviving and then you keep on getting swords and stuff like that. And then yeah, that's basically how the actual dungeon really works. If you can't cycle the swords and if you can't cycle the swords it's pretty impossible to actually beat the dungeon. That's why it's kind of hard. 
and basically grabs all the swords. Of course you want like either Himiko or Sanada to grab all the swords. And then maybe Agnamut if she has a good shot for either a strike shot or just getting through minions and stuff like that. And I totally missed the heart there. Okay, boss time. 35 turns. And Shambura has two arms on the side that have skulls. So the left one will do an attack down if it gets decreed if it dies. And then the right one will shoot on healing walls for a couple of turns. So you want to clear the right one if you need the healing. And I totally missed my gauge there for the damage wall. But it was alright. The commas on top, the comma on top will do a volatile blast after like 5 turns, so that's why I want to clear it off as fast as I can. But try your best to not clear off the left arm. And Shambhala, if you hit that marker on top of the HP, she will turn into rage mode. And that will spell more damage and stuff like that. But it's alright. It's all right. <laughs> uh, but what it what she does during the rage mode is she'll suck you in and then deal a poison damage right on the turn after. So that's why you want to uh, not get damaged that much by it. Next bar, basically on the bottom. I do not recommend pinching on the bottom unless you have monsters coming in with like three or four monsters coming in with a sword item because if you just pinch and move on to the next bar. Uh, you don't have, you can't cycle through to the next stage with uh, sword items, and you'll be even worse off, in my opinion. Even though you clear off a bar really, really fast. So, ooh, like I said, you want to cycle, have monsters with a lot of sword items going to the next bar. Like right now, like Agna moves okay. Like Agna moves has a sword, so I was, I was trying for the pinch there, but it didn't work out. Oh yeah, I'm just trying for a pinch. Next is Agna Moot. And I basically swiped. And hoping to actually clear it, but I don't think I did. But I did die. That was worse. That was worse. Uh, it did proc her trigger, which was good because her one shot was coming very very soon. It was on the it was on the two countdown. But like I said, it's really really bad, and I got lucky with the sword there. If I didn't get the sword, I would have died. I was trying to find some way to get a good shot, but I just ended up strike shining anyways. To clear it off. Yep. Uh, so the strike shot's not that powerful in this dungeon because the boss doesn't have gravity barriers around her. But it is fast, she moves really fast, so she gets a lot of hit, uh, hits off and stuff like that, so it's all good. Okay, next starting with Fire, uh, Fire Noel. And I basically stretch out with Fire Noel just to clear off the uh, bird right there. So that Agna Mook can get a sword for the next stage, and she took the sword. That happens as well. <laughs> And I got lucky with the sword, uh, spawning right on Agnamu, that's why I strike shot, and basically hit the comma. I went for the comma, right? Yeah, I did. Um, Agnamu's strike shot is not that strong. Uh, onto... Onto Shambura, but it's more than enough to just uh, clear off minions as well. Next is Himiko. And I was trying to find some way to not get chicken because I need her for the uh, last bar. Sada, I'm totally fine with her being uh, being a chicken, so that I just went random. And yep, lots of poison, but it's all right. Fire Noel goes for the boss. Or hits Himiko for the boss. And Himiko was right in the best spot because she comes up right on top, on the top side, and he goes right there. Technically, um, 
So basically, Kimiko is there just to clear off the uh, minions and stuff like that with a strike shot. And I was trying to decide which way should I go, like either clear and go for Himiko or do something else. But I was like, hey, I'm going to win anyways with Himiko's strike shot. Because I want to leave as many mobs up because of course I want to get as many minions as off as possible, but it's alright. And boom. That didn't kill, but it was more than enough. Technically, I could have just went up and down on top of the head, and then that should have been uh, okay. That should have been like easy. And then Sada just tried to not get turned into an uh, attacker while reviving back from being a chicken, and that's pretty much the end. Uh, I did get lucky with the sword spawn, um, but that's basically the gist of the dungeon. Make sure you cycle your swords, so always have monsters with uh, the sword item in every single bar when you go into every single stage but um that's pretty much it it is a very hard dungeon but she is a very good monster so i hope you guys like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye